welcomes the second leg of the final match between Festival of KC University. He's representing the Western region. He is playing against Joel Mungare from Mo University, who is representing Rift Valley region. This is an absolute crunch match. It is a must win for Joel Mungare as it stands. He lost the first game 2-1. He has to win this game to proceed. It will go down to the wire on goal difference to see who will proceed to the next round. And as it stands, first one needs a draw. Well, any positive result from this match gives him the much needed qualification to the next round. First of all, Abdallah kicking it from the left to the right. Joe Mungari kicking from right to left. It's underway on the final match of this day. Kylian Mbappe plays it into Daniel Potens. Mbappe plays it in Bruno Fernandes into Usman Dembele. But cuts up once again. Strong, strong defending there by Fesua. Looks for the run in between. Haran cuts it out. Still into Joe Gomez. Kylian Mbappe battling it out down here on the left. He probably wants him more central position, but he does find a post to Potens. Well defended by David Sanchez. Crucial, crucial that he stepped out at that moment because the pass was on through. But he does get a chance now to come to attack on the left with Zaha. Finds a way to pass the medal quite a bit too easily, in my opinion. Plays the ball into Zaha back again. Well recycled. Plays it into Sissoko, back into Firmino. He's got the runners in. And what a pass and what a goal by Bobby Firmino. And 1 0. First, wow. Does get the opening goal and he does it in style. What some beautiful football played there by Fesual Abdallah for KC University. He has started off where he left off, opening us with a beautiful, beautiful goal. 1-0 to him as it stands. Six points in the bag. That would be more than enough to take him into the next round and take KC University Western Region into the knockouts of the E-League Series. Brought to you by Ace Pro Gaming and Kusa as we see Joel Mungara trying to look for the equalizer. He needs them. He needs the goals. Nothing else but a win. Nothing short of a win will give him it. And Saint Max have been trying to play his Mbappe. Scoop turn. 1 1. Just as easy as he conceded and as easy as he scores once again. It looks like it's going to be a cracking match this one. Killing Mbappe with the skills to give him a 1 1 lead. Pretty immense this one. Good start from both this as we see. First one trying to get the ball back into his play. As it stands, this would be enough for first one, and he's probably being a bit more confident that Joel tries to find the ball in, but well defended by Rafael Vara. De Young to Dembele. Daniel Potens, he's got the runner up front and he plays it, uses him, but well defended, steps out there to block it, Joe Gomez. First of all, could be thinking to himself to probably show it up defensively, take a 1-1, one, one, safer bet. He doesn't want to do that, he's already, lo he's already lost his first two matches. He just needs a positive result and he comes forward again, but defended once again by Varane. Joe Mangare needs the win on the other hand. Nothing short of three points would guarantee him progression. A goal difference take potentially if he does take it. And we see Gabriel Jesus turn, but well defended. Rafael Varane does play the ball out to Yuri Alba. It was important and crucial that he got that block because Gabriel Jesus was shoring up to score. Ball played up long to Kylian Mbappe. He's got a foot race with Joe Gomez, and Joe Gomez does get the better of the Frenchman. One Bissaka. Usman Dembele, he's got the running on Odi Alba, can the ball fight get found and yes he does, Fesul Abdallah's got a Mahrez bombing down on the right, plays the cross in, Rafael Varane strong and can cut it out. Fesul's not afraid to go for it, he's got a ton of goals so far, been quite unfortunate not to have got any points, he's lost the first two games but he's got to see it out, he's already in good position. 
but not the final position. Ball played into Kylian Mbappe. He's got the space. Can he turn? Can he find the angle? No. Davinson Sanchez shuts it out and hoofs the ball out for a throw in. Ball played into Mbappe. Clear it out. Zaha brings it out. Bobby Firmino plays the ball into Soko. Bamayang. Patient with the ball here, first of all. He knows he's already got in the driving seat. He needs to control the game and he's doing right that. Plays the long ball to Zaha. Well, just a down. Can he find the ball back into Aubameyang? Post. And it's quite unfortunate here. He did not score his second goal. But what beautiful football that was. Beautiful, beautiful cross. But now he's got to contend with the counter-attacker. Send Maximin back the ball back immediately onto the side. Tries to cut back in. Finds Mbappe. Can Mbappe turn? He's got Davinson Sanchez on the back. Joe Gomez still here. Kylian Mbappe with the elastic goal. Gets the space. Plays it out wide. He could have taken a shot, but he didn't. And Joe Gomez does finally step across. That was a brilliant chance. He had the space. He had the shot on, but he just didn't take it. And first of all, could breathe a sigh of relief as the game gets tenser and tenser as we edge much closer to the end of the first half. Bamayang challenging for the ball on the right, but cut out by the Favan. Ball in the center with the young into Dembele, plays it into Mbappe. Trying to get the run into it in the two defenders. He's getting it. He's getting a better of that in some time, but steps right across in the last minute. Tricky client, the Frenchman is. Not easy one to defend, but first of all, done a good job so far. Only the one goal conceded, and he's got a chance to now score one on the other end. He's got a plan on three. He can play a low cross in, but Stegen, strong hand right across to stop the cross that was coming. It was a definite tap in. And what a stop by the German keeper to keep it 1 1 at halftime as we go in this last crunch match, the deciding match to see who qualifies into the knockout stages. As it stands, Feswell Abdallah of Kisi University, the Western region, is getting the all-important point. I would see him qualifying a second position. Jacob's already sealed the top spot by winning all their four matches. But Feswell's got a tough, tough... Uh, Joel, sorry, he's got a tough, tough 45 minutes left to try and get 33 points necessary, try and get the points that will see him into the next round as, the second half as we kick off second half here joe needs the goals he knows that as we've had two substitutions mbappe in for zaha and a promise in for gabriel jesus trauer in for riyad mahrez and for dens to start the game on strongly for joe but it's cut out before he could make any chance, ball played down to Traore. Fresh feet coming in there, and you could see it with the pace bombing down the right. He's got space right in the center for Quincy Promise. Plays the extra pass to Obama Yang, and what a strong serve by Ter Stegen to keep the game at 1 1. Fest World would have been very happy to get that lead. Probably made him a bit more comfortable going into the last half an hour, but he's got the corner still recycled it. Tries to find him through in. But Lengley, confident and comfortable enough to clear the ball out. Brings the ball out for Joel and has got a run up ahead in Alan St. Maximin and he uses him. Tons of space. Davin Sanchez is scampering to try and get it across and he does so well. Good defending there by Feswell. He needs to keep the ball away from the danger areas and he's doing it well so far. Recycling it well up front with Obama Yang. Plays it in Quincy Proms. Tries to get the better of Semedo, but Semedo does step across to give him the corner. Ball played in, tries to look for the near post cross. But the streak and strong punch away. Eric Guilon for Fessois. Played into the feet of Obama and back into Mbappe. Tries to look for the one two, but back into Mbappe. Error. Mbappe could take a shot, but blocked away. Thoofed away by one Bissaka. Into Traore, back into Soko, but cut out by De Jong, plays it quick into Fernandez, looking for that run, 
But Tisoko steps across a Frenchman cutting right across to stop the attack. Aubameyang has got it. Patient play here by Feswan. He's got 29 minutes to see it out. And he can do this. He's probably looking for that extra goal just to be sure. Because a 2-1 loss here might knock him out. So he knows he needs an extra goal. He knows he needs the three points to be absolutely candid sure of a spot in the knockout. It's round. We see Kylian Mbappe here trying to get the middle of Davinson Sanchez. To apologize, the stream is, does lag a bit as we've been having a bit of some technical issues with the stream live stream from the players. Sorry, as we just join back as we restart this stream, it's a 2 1 for Doyle. Absolutely seen as it stands. Both of those players will be on a three points and we will have to go down to goal a difference to decide who goes into the next round. But a goal for Feswa will see him going through and he does play to Obama and trying to look for that equalizer and he does get it. <laughs> what a finish from the Arsenal captain to give it a 2-2 lead and win stuff. And as it stands, for a very short time, Joel might have been seeing him through. But as it stands, first of all, once again, doing just enough to earn a point, and a point will be enough to see him into the next round. <laughs> crazy, crazy stuff, and you cannot leave your seat until it's done. Opponents into Alan St. Maximon. Back to De Jong, back to Usman de Bellet, so I ended that short. But Hugo Lloris is comfortable enough for the save. 15 in-game minutes to go. Joel needs the goals. Joel needs other three points. Nothing less than three points would give him a qualification. And he's got less than 14 minutes to do that. Ball on the left. Bobby Firmino. Trying to look for Tama Traore on the right. Bombing down. Looking for that winning goal. But well defended. Forcing him out for goal kill and touch cheek and was that in short to Rafael Vahan. Joe Mungare has less than 13 minutes and he does not need those errors as it gives away a very cheap throw in. And Festival will be licking his lips at the chance of playing in the next round. He's got 10 minutes to see this game out. As it stands, he's looking for a chance there. Quincy Promise on the edge, looking for that runner in with Gillian Mbappe. He could have taken a shot earlier, I thought. But well defended once again, and now he's got a chance to break it. Daniel Podens sees the run of Kylian Mbappe, but well defended by Joe Gomez. Stops him in his tracks. First of all, Mohamed looking very strong to try and see it out. Plays the ball to Obama Yang. Sees Torre, recycles it back to Sissoko. There's a counter on the, on the part. Usman Dembele trying to find it. Daniel Podence, he's got the runner in of Kylian Mbappe. Can he get the shot? What a save by Hugo Lloris. Immense, immense stuff. Four minutes to go. And Joel is trying all his best. Starts the short corner. Plays it in Sex Maximin. Plays it down to Van. To Davinson Sanchez. Trying to get the better Mbappe. Sorry. But Daniel Sanchez plays it back to San Maximin. And what a block. Cleared away. Ends to end stuff. He's hanging on to his bare alive here face well as Joe is trying to get that elusive victory. Papa flag for offside. And Joe is going to get another chance. He's got less than three minutes to do this. Sen Maximon. He's got the run of Mbappe. Heel to heel. Trying to look for that runner. Plays it wide to Podence. He's got less than one minute of added time to finish it. Sen Maximin. Tries to get the better of it, but well defended by the defender. Plays it out to Sissoko, and that will probably be the last minute of the game. And it was face one. Abdallah does enough to get that one point to 
qualify for the knockout round of the E League series. A 2 2 entertaining draw between Faiswal Abdallah of Kisi University against Joel Mungare, Masters of Mayhem, playing for Moy University. He finishes the group with zero points. First ball finishes up with four points, just enough to clinch second position and take the Western region into the knockout round of this competition. Thank you so very much for joining us for the last and final penultimate match of the E-League series. Brought to you by Ace Pro Gaming and Kenya University Sports Association as we found our first two participants in the knockout rounds. We shall hope to see you next week on a Friday, 7.30, as we take on Group B, Central Region, Eastern, and Nairobi South to find the next two people who will be joining Jaycoat from Nairobi North and KC University from Western in the knockout rounds. I was your commentator for today, Bruno Sore, and our stream administrator, Debbie Kamanzi. We do wish you a fantastic night and a fantastic week ahead. Ciao. Oh, 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 oh,